Morning. That headboard is so cool. Did you guys make that? No. It just came like that? Yeah. What are you asking for it? $10. 10 bucks? I'm going to take it. You have any other Cincinnati Red stuff? These just tapes. I've got dollar, two, three. Uh, $10 yep. Or ten dollars. Well. Yep, ten bucks. And then I owe you ten for the headboard too. Okay, so twenty dollars. Perfect. There you go. Thanks so Thanks much. Thanks so much. Good luck with your sale. Thanks. Morning. How much is your little laptop? Also, how much? Well, I can look. I've got the spreadsheet up. Sorry, we were getting everything labeled. Oh, no worries. I'm, I'm early. Uh, that's twenty dollars. Does everything work on it? Every, yeah. If you want to turn it on, go ahead. Um, we just uh, updated it. Windows 10 has got all the latest updates. Oh, cool. Yeah, power buttons. There. there. Yeah, I'll give you twenty bucks for it. What is that for? So that's a mesh Wi-Fi. Um, so there's like three there things. Go. Thank things. you. Have a good day. Morning. Morning. Am I too early? No, you're fine. Hi. Hi. You the greeter? You the greeter? Hi. Hi. How much is your frisbee desk? How much you gonna give me? About three bucks. Perfect. Cool. There you go. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably not going to pay. Get it for whatever. I get the money that you get. Yeah, it's easier we to buy in the program a couple years ago. I'm going to take your uh, okay. yeah, punch yeah. it back there. So that, uh, it, um, it actually goes in different heights. Okay. So if you're taller and stuff, you know, you can do it. Morning. That and the uh, tiller. Okay. Well, you, would you make a 10 on that? 25 for both? No, no, no. no. Okay. $12. Well, I got, was I think. Yeah. You know, I paid 150 oh, I know. These are great shoes. I, I, I love them. The pair I had before this was called G Defy. Yeah. I don't know if you ever heard of them. No. They're, they're supposed to be the best shoes for He said, you know, for me, these are the best shoes. I, I wear hope these I've got on, yeah. and then I've got orthotics inside of that. Yeah. My feet are a mess. Okay, Thank buddy. Thanks, I appreciate that. Let me get your candles. Oh, okay, okay. You know, how are you going when I go to doctors? I go somewhere with somebody's on their feet a lot, like doctors. I let them see what the nurses are doing. I'm a little so flexible on that. Like There's 85 yeah. cases there. Yeah. I'm going to come the back up these and grab that tiller. Yeah. yeah. Happy. Uh, this is my the case was made. By a boy's father that collected these. I never knew the boy nor the father, but I knew the mother. And um, I got that from her. Wow. There's uh, 85 pieces there. Huh. They've each got their own little 
strap to hold it down. Uh, pretty much, there's a couple that don't have a strap. I mean, there's some cool pieces here. Right? Yeah. I mean, there really are. I mean, some of that, you know, I mean, I got a piece or two there, but, but I mean, this, this is cool. Here, here's a nice flatbed truck. Yeah, these are really neat. Dinky toys. That'd be a little flexible on it. But okay. I think the display case alone is worth 50 bucks, but that's me. Would you take 300 for him? No, I wouldn't. I already have to offer a little bit for him. I mean, I'm flexible, but I, I couldn't do it for 300. What offer did you turn down already? What's that? What offer did you turn down already, if you don't want me asking? Uh, what you say, three fifty? Three hundred fifty. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you what my absolute lease is. Uh, my absolute lease is four hundred bucks. Okay. And I'm serious. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good luck to you. All right. Appreciate you. So I'm back at the shop, and I got a handful of things today, but nothing really super valuable. Uh, seems like I found a lot of okay stuff. Uh, I got a uh, Bah Humbug Garfield mug humbug mug that's going to my buddy luke because he loves garfield so luke if you're watching this that's heading your way got these challenge coins these were cheap enough they were all like 50 75 cents a lot of local ones to cincinnati i don't even know what that one is zombucks zombie currency um i looked a few of them up they're going between like five and ten bucks each i might just lot them all up and do like one grouping one group listing on ebay Got this Latch Up Crafts uh, poinsettia. This stuff new in the box can do pretty well. I think I'll get about 20 or 25 for this. I think I paid like two. Got a bunch of wrenches. There was three different bundles uh, for a dollar each. So I paid three bucks for all of them. And I think I'm just going to do one big lot. These are all made in USA. Some of them are craftsmen. I don't expect to get a lot for them, but probably 20, 25 bucks. I got a lot of VHS tapes at one sale. Let me move these wrenches out of the way. Got a bunch of VHS tapes at one sale. I really don't bother looking up VHS tapes. If they're a quarter, 50 cents, I just kind of wing it and see, like I'll buy a bunch that I think could have some value. And typically there's one or two that of that grouping that I buy have value. Unfortunately, in this case, I did none of these are good. These are just all bad buys. So this was amazing video collection, like incredible, incredible rescues, life against death, man against nature. A bunch of old like caught on camera stuff i thought that would be good none of those are really going for anything i got three jerry springer tapes this was actually sealed um too hot for tv wild relationships i could maybe get 10 bucks for the three i think uh kid flicks those aren't really going for much quarterback kid i thought this franken weenie was really cool but it's not worth a whole lot uh and then cops i thought for sure cops would be good but yeah they're just not selling for much seems like the vhs market is maybe kind of saturated i don't know i got this acer 110 laptop for 20 bucks it's going between 40 and 50 i think i'm just gonna let my daughter play with it for a while it's pretty cool and she's at that age where she's learning computers and stuff so she'll have fun playing with that i guess this probably turned out to be my best buy of the day i got four yankee candle uh jar candles uh, these are all new they haven't been burned and they're going between 20 and 30 dollars each i paid 10 bucks for all four uh, poinsettia dazzling red maple mountain lodge and uh, berry trifle i've done really good selling yankee candle jars so if you see them they definitely haven't been used they're cheap enough pick them up last but certainly not least i got this vintage cincinnati reds twin size headboard when i first saw it i thought that maybe they just put their own stickers on there uh, but I do believe this is original. This is how it was bought in the store. Uh, I paid 10 bucks for it. Something like this is a tough sell. <laughs> it's, it's a headboard, so I doubt anybody's going to actually put it on a bed nowadays, but maybe we'll just cut off the ends and just like mount the top or something. So probably not a ton of value, but it was too cool to leave behind. At one sale, a gentleman was selling a big collection of vintage Matchbox cars and he had a case and everything for him. He was asking $500 and right off the bat, he's like, hey, I could work on the price a little bit. I valued them around 600, maybe a little bit more if you're listing each one individually on eBay. Um, Cause there was about, I think it was about 70 of them whatever number he said there was it was off by like five or six because i counted them so 
I was looking them up and most of them were going between five and ten dollars each. I was really hoping to find one that might have been like fifty or a hundred or something to where you know there was extra meat on the bone, but it just wasn't happening. The value in those is in the boxes. And he didn't have any of the original boxes and condition was okay. Like it wasn't poor, but it wasn't great. So I offered 300 on him and after talking to him for a little bit, he said that 400 was the lowest he was willing to go. And if I'm putting all the work into listing those individually on eBay and packing them and shipping them and doing all that, plus paying the eBay fees, at the end of the day, I didn't really think it was worth it to pay 400. There might've been a hundred dollars profit and maybe a little bit more, but not something I felt like messing with. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>